this is after one day scratch test. Stuck good. That stuff is stuck plenty good. Uh, that's the Loxon XP. Yeah, that stuff is stuck plenty good. Okay, I'm putting on Loxon XP paint. Brick paint for masonry. Uh, this is not the primer, this is the paint. And uh, this brick has very deep mortar joints. So I have to, uh, I've thinned it. It's not recommended. If this were flat, I would not thin it. That may be a wee bit, but I'm going to put two, three, coats of thinned out because I, ha I can't get back in here full strength it just won't do it <laughs> so uh, I'm doing a somewhat thinner coat for my primer coat to soak in then I'll, then I'll do a thicker second coat but uh, this stuff comes very thick and if this were a flat surface like here it'd be no problem that mortar is pretty good, but up in here, I've got some really deep mortar joints, so I had to thin it. It's not recommended. I'm not advising it, but uh, I'm putting on some uh, a primer thin coat. To be honest, it soaks in good. It sticks really well, so I'm not having any problems, but like I say, Sherwin-Williams and the product says do not reduce. So, disclaimer, do not reduce. <laughs> and uh, I'm, using a, I'm using a 319 tip, 419, 519, anywhere from a 017 to a 021 tip is recommended. Full strength, I would probably go 21. But uh, this is working good. I just put it on. That's kind of angle up and down to get those mortar joints. Putting it on, putting it on thick. I mean, I'm, I'm slopping it on. I see any holes and just build it up. Then Get your roller. The reason you slop it on, you need paint on this roller. You need to get a lot of paint on your roller. I'm using an inch and a quarter polyester. Probably wouldn't want to use lamb's wool because this stuff is kind of thick. I mean, the stuff is kind of sticky. You just work it in. Work it in. Plug all the holes. Slop this stuff on there.
And the reason I did not mask these windows is because the paint on the windows is a little delicate. I didn't want to peel off the paint when I take the masking tape off. So I did it like this. So don't tell me how stupid I am. <laughs> For all you painters out there who, who are going to criticize me. I'm having more success with a first uh, thin coat for a sort of a primer coat and it's really soaking in the brick well. It's doing a good job. It soaks in, it sticks good and I'll go with a thicker coat on my second coat. But I got to fill these mortar joints which are very deep and I just can't get a thick product in those mortar joints. It says slower than painting your house, so you know, beware of that for all you homeowners who want to try this. Uh, you probably could get away with just dipping it in a bucket and rolling it. Uh, it all depends on these mortar joints. That's what matters. If they're deep, you're going to have a hard time. If they're flush, look, if they're flush, no big deal. If they're deep, it's a big deal. So, you, you could do this. I will tell you, uh, it takes a lot of paint to paint brick. It takes a lot of paint to paint brick. Uh, I'm going on 25, 30 gallons on this house. But, uh, and technically, it is designed to be a one coat system. And it probably would be if it weren't for those mortar joints being so deep and recessed back there, uh, that's giving me problems. So, stucco, all that, I'm sure uh, putting it on full strength, heavy, flush surface, uh, I believe it's a one coat system. For me, <coughs> I'm having to do two coats. Putting a thin primer coat on and going back with a thicker finish coat. Show you the product. And I'll show you an up close shot. Here's what I'm talking about those deep mortar joints like that. If it's a flush mortar joint like that. It's not a big deal, not a problem, but I've got some really deep mortar joints and I've got to really get that stuff in there. So you really got to work it in. You got to keep rolling, keep rolling, just keep working it. And uh, like if you see a hole or something right there, you just slop some paint in there. I'm doing this one-handed, so do like that. This is one coat. It's soaking in. Of course, I, I didn't put that on really, really, real thick, uh, but uh, this is, and uh, you will get a few drips, but uh, see like there's one. Just roll over it. No big deal. All right, so here's the product. You got to have a pretty good sprayer with this stuff too. Uh, 
Luxon XP. I'm using satin. It's looking really, really, really good. And uh, it's looking really good, though, I gotta tell you. It looks really nice. There's a finished product. And this stuff is it's really stuck really good. I mean, that stuff sticks to brick really well. It's good stuff. So, I recommend it. A little harder to work with. It takes a lot of paint, but uh, it's all about those mortar joints, really. That's, that's the big deal. If you've got deep recessed mortar joints, I would recommend a thin primer coat thinner not don't add too much water but I put a little water and a little flow trawl in my paint I uh, do a primer coat with that then I go back and I second coat it with a thicker coat and uh, it's coming out really nice and it is stuck like crazy so anyway to make a long story short <laughs> that's Loxon XP for you like I say not recommended to thin, but uh, the people that uh, are recommending that don't have to deal with these mortar joints, and I do. So anyway, we will talk to you later. Sure, 46 out.